back to my channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Miss Brandy's World. Thank you for tuning in to watch me, little old me, little Brandy. I appreciate y'all. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers for reaching out and watching me once again on your screen. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm coming back at y'all with another wine video. I got, well, cheap wine video because this is some cheap wine. So I got some more cheap wine. $2.50 wine. And this is made by Oak Leaf. This is Chardonnay. And this is Moscato. So I got both of them from Walmart. And this time they are chilled. Uh, yeah, look at my shirt, y'all. Don't y'all like my shirt? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. God is good. He will always come through. Oh, and I also have some little crackers and dip that I might eat and try to think of something to talk about with y'all. Um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but it'll just come to my mind. But just, this is, um, these are wheat thins and this is spinach and artichoke dip. I figured that would go good with this white wand that I have. All right, y'all. So we're going to get started. Which one should we try first? Um, oh, I meant to say. Um, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to share my video. And hit your notification bell so every time I come through, which is not often, with a video, you will know. Okay? Alright, so here we go. Let's open up the first one. I think I'm going to try the Moscato first. And this does have a cork in it, so I got my little handy dandy cork opener. So let's get this open. How y'all doing on this beautiful Sunday evening? The last day of May, y'all. May has flown by like crazy. We already in June. Oh, come on. Let's act right. Okay, here we go. Mm. If y'all hear those little click, clack, click, clack, and those bells, that's my dog. I tell y'all that in every video. <laughs> That's her little nails on. I need to take her to get a nails cut whenever her vet opens back up. <laughs> so, and that little clink clack, clink clack is her collar, like I tell y'all all the time. So, I got the first one open. Let's do the second one. So, I don't gotta stop and do it later, okay? Okay. Alright, so we got them open. Okay, so first one, no, I think I'm going to try the Chardonnay first because I, I, I don't think I've ever had Chardonnay before. You know, it's the cheap Chardonnay, but we're going to try the Chardonnay first. All right. All right, here we go. Cheers. All right. I'm going to taste it first and then I'm going to try it with um, crackers and dip, okay? It's smooth, tart, but smooth, but Chardonnay tastes good. All right, so now I'm going to try with my cracker and my dip. So, how y'all been feeling about this, this George Floyd situation? It's so sad. I mean, that police officer, what he did to him. I mean, how he murdered him, because he did murder him. I mean, I mean, eight minutes with, you know, somebody's knee in your neck and you suffocate them, that's definitely murder. Um, I couldn't watch the video, just every time I did try to watch it, it just brought tears to my eyes and made me cry because I think that was just so sad. I, my heart goes out to his family, my heart goes out to his friends and everybody that knew him. Just a really, really sad situation. But now, ever since all that happened, Everybody wants to, you know, protest, as they say. First, it started out as peaceful women. First, it started out as a peaceful protest, but it soon turned violent. You have first start off in Minneapolis, I believe, and then it started streaming down to different cities where they're rioting, they're breaking in buildings, they're stealing merchandise, and I don't understand what is that going to accomplish. 
what is that going to accomplish? Is that going to change anything? I mean, just stealing and looting and setting stuff on fire, you know, vandalizing buildings and vandalizing cars and police, um, police um, precincts. And I just don't understand what, what is that going to prove? What is it going to change? I mean, fortunately, it's not going to bring the man back. I mean, and I feel like at this point that it's not being done because people are upset about his death. I feel like it's being done because people just want free shit. So that's just how I feel. <laughs> that's my opinion. Take it how you want it. You know, that's just me. But take some more shot now. Mm. This is good though. It's really good. But yeah, so so that's what's going on in the news. Nobody's really talking about about Corona no more because everybody's focused on George George Floyd and horrible, horrible, horrible situation that happened. And I really hope the police officer that did that, how he could just absolutely just sit there for eight minutes the way that he did, did that man. I hope every night when he closed his eyes, he visions that man's face in his head every single night so he can come back. Maybe he'll come back and haunt you because what you did to him was fucking wrong. It was wrong on any level. It was wrong. So every night when you close your eyes, I pray that you see that man in your fucking nightmares. And I hope that justice is served. He needs to get life. Put that mother, excuse my language, put him under the jail. For real. But anyway, so. I like this Chardonnay though. This is good. It tastes even better with my own. Um, with my crackers and my spinach and artichoke dip. Y'all, during this quarantine, I've gained some weight. <laughs> I've been trying to stay out the kitchen, you know, and working from home. So I'm always in the house. I work from home. Then I'm stuck in here because of the quarantine. Because, I mean, we got a little stuff open in our city. We got little restaurants and stuff. But, like, lounges and places to go, bowling, stuff, you know, do active stuff. That's not open yet. The gym definitely is not open. Hello, gym. When are you going to open back up? I miss going to the gym. So hopefully that will be open soon. Our governor said, I think within the next week or two, maybe they're going to start trying to open up the gyms and stuff again. So I hope so because I got to work these pounds off. I didn't gain some weight. I just love my shirt, y'all. I love it. I love it. But, mm, mm hmm Another cracker. This is so good. A light snack. Light snack. But, um, yeah, this world is just, it's definitely changing. And it's changing for the worse, unfortunately. Um, never thought I would see the day. Never thought I would see the day that a pandemic hit us. Never thought I would see the day when all the police officers are killing our black men. But it's happening, y'all. It is happening. 2020 was def has definitely been some kind of year. It hasn't been really a good year. It may have been for some. But in society, society, 2020 has not been a good year. So, excuse that noise. My daughter, is, she is cooking herself something to eat. So, you hear noise in the background. I apologize. So, But yeah, all we can do is just pray. I pray. I have I have two two sons. I have two boys. Their ages are um, 21 and 18. And I just pray every time that they leave the house. I just pray that God protects them and watches over them because these police officers are just taking our our son's life, our sons, our husbands, our brothers. They like just taking their life like 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 they're not even human. Like it's nothing. And it's so sad. Finish the Chardonnay. So next we're gonna taste the Moscato. I love Moscato. I know what Moscato tastes like, but I just wanted to taste this cheap. This cheap Moscato. Oak leaf. These was $2.50 a piece at Walmart, y'all. Can't beat that. Can't beat no cheap wine. Okay. So oh man. So everybody.
everybody been quarantined, been up in the house with that booth thing, you know. I'm sure a lot of babies gonna be born <laughs> early next year because of this quarantine. But I heard in the news that there's a lot of divorces and separations that's being, you know, that has became real big because of the quarantine. Being in the house with your mate, I mean, you know, sometimes you can't get on each other's nerves, you know. And day in and day out, especially if both of y'all work from home. And then y'all constantly in the house. So, yeah, problems problems can arise. So, yeah, the, so the divorce rate is up a lot, you know. Um, and they blame it on the quarantine. But I just feel like every marriage is different. Every relationship is different. I mean, some people love being in the house 24-7 with their mate. Some people don't, you know. It just depends on that relationship. It depends on those those two individuals and how they come together as one. So, Moscato. Mmm. This is good. Okay. Go ahead, um, Oak Leaf. This Moscato. Well, I'm definitely getting this again. This is sweet. That threw me for a loop, y'all. I wasn't expecting it to taste like that, but that is really good. So I mean, I think it just depends on the individual and how they how they come together as one within their marriage and their relationship. Um, you know, they say marriages don't last past five years now. Um, some relationships have proved society wrong. Um, so oh, this is so good, y'all. I just feel like now with like social media and stuff, a lot of relationships can be broken up because of social media, you know, Instagram and Facebook. And, you know, I think that's sad. Because back in the day, we didn't have all the social media. We didn't have people liking each other pictures or nothing like that. So, of course, marriages and relationships survived longer because you didn't have any of the Internet. You didn't have social media that's dictating everything that you do. And, you know, so... Of course, back then, a lot of marriages and relationships, um, they lasted longer. But, definitely, before you get married, definitely do pre-marriage -pre counseling, you know, and try to make sure that it's something that you want to do and that you want to, you know, get into with that person, you know, because marriages should be a lifetime commitment. Relationships can definitely be hard, and it's, it's, it's definitely a job that you have to put the work in for every single day. So, yeah. But, but to me, they blame everything on this virus. Divorce rates are high because of the coronavirus and the quarantine. <laughs> like, really? That's why people getting divorced? The people was probably, I'm sure they was having problems before all this quarantine stuff was going on. So, I mean... It is what it is, you know. But it is what it is. I don't know what to talk about with y'all. I'm just randomly just <laughs> talking about stuff. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I think going back to the looting thing, I think with them looting and stuff, I think that messed about second stimulus check. What y'all think? Because I have a feeling they're going to say that they're going to have to use that money to fix these communities that these stupid MFs then messed up and burnt down and tore up and vandalized. So I think that's what they're going to say. That's what's going to happen to our second stimulus check. Watch what I tell you. Watch. But... It's just funny how all this stuff is going on when Donald Trump is about to try to be reelected for his second term. Hmm. Oh, okay. All this stuff is just miraculously happening, right? <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Mmm. This is so good. This is so good. I like it, like it, like it, like it. Even though I don't think our world will be normal again. I mean, but a lot of norm, norm, normality is coming back, you know, slowly but surely. Um, I have yet to been, go to a restaurant yet. Um, I'm still trying to wait till it dies down a little bit. I have yet to go to a nail salon. I did my own nails. <laughs> um, so, 
yeah. It seemed like every every since stuff has opened up, cases have just went up higher and higher. So, but I don't know. Whoever thought 2020 would be like this? First we lost Kobe. Then the virus came. Now Mr. George Floyd. And now looting and stuff is going on, y'all. Just crazy. It's so sad. We just gotta pray every day. Cause we we'll only do it. If you pray, he gonna do it for you. Of course he is. Definitely. Mm -mm. I ran out of crackers, y'all. I'll be right back. Hold up. Let me get some more crackers, y'all. Go with my dip. <laughs> Finish this good old Moscato. So what y'all been doing? What y'all been watching on TV? Um, Netflix, I just watched this, um, this comedy. It was called The Wrong Missy. When I tell y'all... <laughs> That was the most funniest, funniest show. I mean, movie. It was about a guy. He 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 meets up with this um, with this woman. It's a blind date, and her name is Melissa. And they call her Missy or whatever. So she is like really, really like just over the top. She's out there. She's funny, you know. But she just says anything that comes to her mind. But she's a little cuckoo. But she's funny as hell. So he meets up with her, and then he ends up going on this little um, resort in Hawaii. And, oh, let me back up. He meets another woman. I think her name is Melissa or Missy as well. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. So he meets her, but she is beautiful. Blonde hair, beautiful face, everything. You know, he really like her. He's really feeling her. So he texts Missy, asking her to go to this retreat with him in Hawaii, thinking it's the Missy with the blonde hair and the pretty face and everything, but it's the other Missy, the wrong Missy, the one that's over the top, that's abundant and just crazy. So he gets on the plane on his way to Hawaii. He's waiting for Missy, the one with the blonde hair, to come and, you know, join him. So the other Missy shows up, <laughs> the crazy one, and she sits next to him on the plane. And he looks at her like, like, what are you doing here? So she's like, I'm so happy you invited me, da da, da all this other stuff. It just starts doing all this crazy stuff. So, all this crazy stuff happened on the plane. They get to the resort in Hawaii, and she just acting so crazy. Like, they walk into the room, and she was like, oh my God, fuck yeah, are you rich? Oh my God, thank you so much. I appreciate you bringing me on this retreat. He, all, the whole time he looking at her like, you are the wrong Missy. <laughs> you are not the Missy that I thought I texted. So he plays along with it the whole weekend even though he's irritated. But mind you, this is a retreat. This is not like a personal retreat. This is a retreat for his um, for his, for his his job. So all his co-workers and his boss is there and everything. So she is just acting crazy over the top. So of course they believe that that's his girl and everything. And he has to pretend that they together. And, you know, she ends up becoming cool with his co-workers and the boss and stuff. But, you know, <clears throat> toward the end, end of the, um, the movie, you know, she finds out that, you know, she wasn't the right Missy that he was supposed to bring on to this retreat. And then she ends up um, getting her feelings hurt. But then he ends up starting really liking her and feeling her. So the real Missy shows up and then he's like acting crazy because he don't, he's not feeling her no more because he started feeling the wrong Missy. So, <laughs> so he starts acting crazy, trying to push her away and make her go so he can go back and chase the wrong Missy or whatever. But um, it, it was, it was hilarious, y'all. The wrong Missy. That movie is funny. I watched it twice. It's hilarious. So, y'all looking for something funny to watch? Make sure y'all watch that. Because I had to get off of YouTube for a little while. I was watching, you know, Liv and Chrissy and all that drama going on with them. The people that watch, you know, the mommy on the game. Yeah. <laughs> so, that drama was starting to get on my nerves. I was like, let me start watching something with a little comedy to it so I can laugh. All this daggone drama going on on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, check that out. The wrong Missy. When I tell you, you're gonna be in tears. <laughs> oh, this Moscato is so good. But yeah. I'll be trying to find some good movies to watch. But I like crime shows, y'all. 
Anything that got to do with crime, I am in there like swimwear. I'm stuck like glue to that TV. I love anything that got to do with crime. The ID channel, you know, snap for my man. Yes. That show for my man be crazy. And that's what I tell y'all about relationship. Relationships, men can be very manipulative. Use you, tell you what, you, what they think you want to hear. You mess around, think you having that back, and they getting you locked up for life. You like, damn. My neck was twisted. You like, damn. I really loved him. I was down for him. You know, I was there for him. Anything that he wanted, you know, and this nigga didn't use me. He got me dead on 15, 20 years in prison. He done went on about his business. You know? Mm, mm, mm. That show for my man is crazy. I be sitting back like... What do these girls be thinking? Girl, don't, don't you ever do nothing like that for no man. But sometimes emotions take over, you know, when they always say, you can trust me. You think you can trust them, but hmm, you can't trust them there. Then you end up wasting your whole life, life gone down the drain. You done got prison time. You done got felonies for the rest of your life. All over something the nigga told you. Y'all was pillow talking in the bed. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, be careful who you trust when you come to these men out here. For real. Be careful. But yeah, I'm going to finish up this wine. And that's going to be it. This is so good. That Chardonnay was okay. This Moscato was the ish. And I am a little tipsy off of this cheap wine. You know, cheap wine get you tipsy fast. <laughs> get you tipsy fast. Well, I like this. Mmm. 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 Yes. All right, y'all. We <clears throat> 23 minutes into this video. So I'm going to end it here. And, you know, I'm sorry if I bored y'all with what I was talking about. I, I couldn't. I was just coming off the dome with what to talk about. I could. I ain't had nothing written down of what to talk about. So, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my cheap wine review. Copy some of this cheap ass wine. Two fifty at Walmart. Two fifty at Walmart. This one was the best. Yes. Um. Excuse me, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, sorry, y'all. But as I stated earlier, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching me, Little Brand D, your girl. So hit that like me like button for your girl. Okay? All right? And um, you can share my video. You know what I'm saying? Tell your friends about me. Tell them to subscribe, you know, to my channel. Like I tell y'all in every video, be safe in any and everything that you do. Because why? We want to talk to you and not about you. All right, y'all. I love y'all. One. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, I'm from Baltimore, you say you was, I'll never see you What part you on? I got some family on the Alameda I love my city, that's about me and I bet they know me My name good in any hood, I hung around Tivoli 